So you've got all of your design concepts put down on paper and you want to pull them into your computer so that you can do some final touches and edits on them and put them into a nice composition. How do you do that? We're going to show you today. It's not too complicated. Here we go. I would highly recommend that you guys just go and get yourself a scanner. This one's like a hundred bucks. I got it at Best Buy. You might get some weird looks as you walk in and you ask the people, hey, can I find a flatbed scanner? But sometimes there's no school like the old school. But of course you can just use your camera on your phone. Make sure the angle is right so that it's not too distorted and there's no shadows going across your artwork. It's your Russ here. I think that the best way to look at this is just to think how would you make a real collage of photos in real life? You take a photo. You cut it out and you glue it together in some kind of a composition. We're gonna do the exact same thing, but digitally. All right, so assuming that you've already scanned all your photos and they're in one place, we're gonna open up Photoshop now and get ready to rock and roll. So first thing we gotta do is start a new project. The canvas size, you just have to decide what you're going for. In our case, we're gonna do 1920 by 1080, which is just standard high definition aspect ratio. There we go. Okay, I found that the easiest way for me to import images is just to open up another window, select them all, and drag them in. You can position each of the layers one at a time and hit enter when it's in the right spot, but at this point, I really don't care where they're at. We just need to get them all in, so I'm hitting enter, enter, enter over and over till we get them all into the canvas. Great. Almost. Okay, all right, we got them all in. Now, all of the layers are on their own. I'm just going to collect them and put them in a specific group. Here we go. And just because I know myself, there's a chance I could screw things up. So I always like to have an original that I have as a backup that I just hide and is available to me. There we go, it's hidden. Okay, now we have each and every single layer set up, but you might notice there's like this bluish hue in the background. So I'm gonna do a little levels adjustment and take that high end down a bit so that it's pure white on the background. We don't wanna lose the details, so I'm bumping up the mids. A little more off the top, okay. There we go. And bump the low end so that we have those nice deep blacks. And really, that's not too bad. Okay. So I applied that to the entire group. Certainly if we needed to, we could do it at a layer level one at a time. And now I've sped it up and we're just cutting out each one of those layers with the marquee tool. I select it, hit command or control J to copy individual layers. So they're on their own and we can select them all. Right now there's still all the white backgrounds. What do we do about that? I'm gonna show you a really simple solution. All we gotta do is select and highlight every single layer. So I'm just holding down shift and going from top to bottom and changing all of them to a blend mold, a blending mode of multiply. That just makes all of the whites disappear and it's simply the darks that we're gonna see. So that'll give us our freedom to move them and there's no longer any white backgrounds. We can take each of the layers, I skipped ahead in and manipulate them as needed just by selecting on them and hitting Command T to transform or control, depending on your operating system. And you can do a little bit of rotation there. That's a lot better. And you can scale it, you can warp it and do anything that you need to. In this case, I like it overlapping just a tad. And I'm going to take out that number right there. So once you've reached this point and you like how things are looking, you can just export it by going up to here, file, export, export as, click that there. Everything's looking great. The dimensions are what you want. You can just move on down. I don't know why the window's so big on my screen, but here, export bottom right. Click on that. You find the place where you'd like for it to go. I don't care, downloads, sure. Save it there so you can find it later and you're ready to rock and roll, you've done it. You've taken simple sketches that are analog, scanned them in, composited them digitally, and in the future we can do some cool stuff like some uh, 
digital sketching and rendering to add some pop to it. But that's a tutorial for another day. In the meantime, thanks for checking in again. If you guys uh, found something meaningful in this content, be sure to subscribe and stick around for next time. And we'll see you here on The Variable.